We start today with stunning hypocrisy. Uh, Republican Congressman James Comer was asked by CNN's Jake Tapper, OK, you're investigating or you want to investigate Joe Biden's handling of classified documents after 15 or 20 documents were found in Biden's possession, uh, which his lawyers immediately contacted the National Archives and turned over. Fine. You want to investigate that. But then you must also want to investigate Donald Trump, right? I mean, Trump had at least hundreds of documents and Trump deliberately took them and Trump used lawyers to try to avoid giving them back rather than immediately turning them over. Clearly, if you're investigating Biden, you must also want to investigate Trump. And James Comer can't explain why he's investigating Joe Biden and not Donald Trump. This is brazen hypocrisy, obvious partisanship, a humiliating double standard. But it's Republican politics in 2023. And it has been for a while. Let's take a look. And Jake Tapper visibly exasperated because what James Comer is saying makes no sense whatsoever. Let's go there because you're talking about the Trump documents. Former President Trump is under an investigation for his own classified documents. There are about 20 in the case of Biden. For right. Trump, there are, about, there are more than 300 classified documents in <laughs> Mar-a-Lago. A big difference here, uh, just on the facts, Trump did not fully comply with the subpoena. His lawyers falsely told investigators that they turned everything in. True. Um, take a listen to what you told CNN about this situation last November. This gets good. I don't know much about that. That's not something that uh, we've requested information just to see what was going on because I don't know what documents were at Mar a Largo. Uh, so, you know. By the way, Mar a Largo. Listen, we went to Mar a Largo and there were no documents. Right. Well, because that's not the place. Something we're just waiting to see what comes out on that. But is it fair to say that investigation will be a priority? That will not be a priority. <laughs> so, what do you say <laughs> to viewers who don't understand why President Biden's documents seem like a big priority for you? Yeah. But President Trump, who took hundreds more documents, did not comply with the subpoena, did not reach out to the National Archives or the Justice Department to say, hey, we found these documents. It's not a priority. Do you only care about classified documents being mishandled when Democrats do the mishandling? Yes, that's absolutely right. Right, Jake. I'm a partisan hack. Absolutely not. <laughs> Look, we still don't know what type of documents President Trump had. That's one of the questions we've asked National Archives. Just because Joe Biden's lawyer said they turned over five documents doesn't mean they just turned over five documents. They could have turned over 500 documents. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't have a lot of confidence in President Biden's personal lawyers. At the end of the day, the National Archives Im implied to us uh, at former Chairman Maloney's <laughs> request at, and told us that the National Archives was working with the Trump administration during the transition. That's the last communication we had uh -huh. uh, with whether or not the archives had worked. With if you are confused and you're wondering, where is the answer about why we care more about the Biden thing than the Trump thing with the documents? If you're searching in this clip for that answer, the, it's not there. That's why you're confused. Trump on uh, removal of, of all the documents from the White House. So yeah. we don't know exactly what uh, Trump has versus what Biden has. And, yeah. and part of the reason they don't know if they, is they've said the Trump aspect of this just isn't a priority. They're not trying to find out. End of the day, my biggest concern isn't the classified documents, to be honest with you. My concern is how there's such a discrepancy in how former President Trump was treated by raiding ah. Mar-a-Lago, by getting the security cameras, by taking pictures of documents on the on the. This is a circle. I hope that many of you recognize this is completely circular. He says, listen, I don't care so much about the difference in the documents. I care about the difference in how they were treated. But of course, to understand the difference in how they've been treated so far, you have to understand the difference between the documents. You have to understand the difference between the number of documents. You have to understand that Trump said, take these documents to my house. Whereas with Joe Biden, everything we know is that we're talking about somewhere between one and two dozen documents that Joe Biden didn't say, keep these, put these in a box and put them next to my Corvette. This clearly was an oversight, which was immediately um, uh, uh, turned over to the National Archives. If you don't understand that, then you wouldn't understand the difference in the treatment. But that's exactly what James Comer wants. By going through Melania's closet. Yeah. 
OK, so that's a, a, a complete inability or unwillingness to explain what the difference is. And James Comer doesn't have any answers because the answer is actually the, the simplest one. He's a partisan hack and he only cares about the Biden documents because Biden's a Democrat and Comer is a Republican. Now, Jake Tapper tried again on this and said, OK, why are you asking for the visitor logs for the Biden White House? Uh, for Joe Biden, rather, but not for Mar-a-Lago or Mar-a-Largo, as Comer said. Um, and it's a, the answer will 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 just it, whatever the opposite is of a light bulb going off. It, that's what it is. I, I get that, but there's a big difference in how President Biden and his team. Sorry, this is the wrong clip. Okay, here. Nope, that's the okay. I don't have the clip. All right. Well, that's too bad. That went that went bad. Anyway, uh, I don't know where the clip went. And I apologize that the clip has disappeared. The question from Tapper was, why are you asking for the visitor logs for Biden and not for Mar-a-Lago? And James Comer said, well, we're in the middle of a Biden family influence peddling investigation, which is, of course, an investigation that we knew they would do, but is a complete distraction from actual things taking place in the real world. So even Republicans aren't able to explain why the Biden documents are a big deal, but the Trump documents are not. We are left to speculate. My speculation takes me to, well, it's because Trump's a Republican and these hacks are also Republicans.